Welcome to our podcast. Did I just offend somebody? Fuck off. Did she just say that? Yes, she did. Welcome to the podcast. I'm going to tell you a little bit about Quinn's Mercantile, me, and how we're involved in our community here. I think it's really important to give back. It's a belief that I've had since I was young. My mother was a big volunteer in the community, and I think it's really an important thing to do to be involved, to make an impact. And I've done that, especially here in Murfreesboro. We've been here about 20 years total, uh, relocated here from Indiana. And I've always had some type of volunteerism that I've done, but it has really just kind of been sporadic more so until we got here. And I really got involved and realized how much there is that we could do to make a difference and to really help other people in our community. So a few of the things that we've done in the past, just personally, um, I've worked with the American Diabetes Association on a volunteer basis. I volunteered with United Way, um, enjoyed that. I volunteer with Adopt a Golden, um, a dog rescue here, and we're very actively involved with that. We also support other organizations that are not-for-profits in the community, from Stepping Stones Safe Haven to Kamari House um, and Doors of Hope, Habitat for Humanity. There are so many organizations out there and so many ways that you can be involved, and I think that's really important to make you a full-rounded, well-rounded person. I think that it's not only having a business in this community and making a difference with paying employees and paying taxes and participating in uh, society in that sense, but it's also about what can I do to make a difference. So we do that a lot here, and I encourage my employees to get involved on a volunteer basis too. If there's something that interests them, we try to do it as a group. It can be difficult at times because we can't all be off or out of the shop at the same time. Um, But I do really encourage things um, on a volunteer basis. One year we did um, wrapping a lot of gifts for a soldier's child. And that was a nice thing because we were able to do it after hours. So we just took the time, we took it as a group and we spent our time wrapping gifts for children who were going to have birthdays so that they would have um, gifts to receive. Uh, There are quite a few organizations, like I said, that are very reputable and that you can choose to be involved with. Our most active involvement is with adopt a golden Nashville, and they cover all of Middle Tennessee. They're a golden retriever rescue. We have numerous events throughout the year that benefit them. And I found that a lot of our customers, the majority of them will support the organization if you just make an ask. So I think that's an important thing to realize that if there's something that you believe in, it's really important to tell other people, whatever that is, whatever organization it is that you choose to support, to make an impact, to tell other people about it, because many of them don't even know what's there or what's going on. So for us, um, my employees are dog lovers or at least dog likers. That's a requirement. Um, We do tell people when they come on board that Buddy, my dog, is here often and that um, we have people that come in with their dogs and their pets and that that's something to be expected. So if you're not a pet person, um, it probably isn't a good job for you because they are here and we enjoy having them. We like taking their pictures. We like giving them treats. <clears throat> Excuse me. We like to be able to interact with the pets and the people too. Sometimes we like the pets better than the people, but, um, and it's after golden. We do, like I said, events throughout the year for them. We do donations when we do our pet project, we'll do a little, um, paw print type project or something like that, a little pup craft, and people will donate to do that. We supply everything for it. We supply the people to work it or volunteer with it. And then um, we'll collect donations for Adopt a Golden through that. We were just the sponsors for the Great Golden Gathering. So we did some video for them and we were able to give back in that sense and support them as the sponsor of their event. And we also foster with them. So we're almost always with the foster dog uh, and we do transport and things of the sort. We do uh, at Christmas time, we ask people to 
support adopt a golden and we give a significant donation back to adopt a golden through that and this year what we're doing is uh working with just little cutout shapes of dogs and you can write your dog's name on it for a donation and we put it up on the door and it looks really cute so people are very excited to participate and my employees like doing it too so i think it's just really important to know that not only are we here um supporting other small businesses having businesses come into our shop um, on a commission basis doing things like our pop-ups and our events and letting them get out in front of people but we truly do give back and we give back to a lot of organizations and i think that sometimes that isn't recognized how much we actually do as a small business and other small businesses do too. Constantly being um, asked, being requested to financially support uh, organizations is something that I don't think you even can comprehend until you become a small business owner, how many people make an ask and how often it happens. So sometimes we have to be very selective and we try to support one, one year, another, another year. Um, and we do budget for all of those things. But I do believe in making an impact. I do believe in giving back. And I've got great staff that do the same thing. So I encourage you to do it. I encourage you to reach out to an organization that's near and dear to your heart or find one that's new that you've not even known about and get involved. I think it's really important. Did I just offend somebody? Most likely. But that's who I am and I'm okay with that. If you're not giving us a five-star review, then fuck off. Did she just say that? Yes, she did.